Hi, I'm Jean Shannon, and first up is my Hennepin County Library card, which allows me to take out interlibrary loan books, all kinds of art books, and I will show a sample of something that was inspired by this card. I use this card all the time, every week. Number two, the brush pen is uh, Pentel, I think. And I use my Pentel all the time. Mm -hmm. And this is something new. I have just started, I'm not a marker person, but I just started using the Pitt colored markers. Uh, they are waterproof, they are permanent. So, hey, I wanted to give them a chance. And here is my sample. Uh, I've used the brush pen in both cases. The um, markers kind of give a lithographic feel, which I like. And this is a copy of a piece of a Bonnard lithograph. And I got the book out of the library. It was in French and very scarce, but I got it out of the library and I made a copy of the cat. Well, my name is Sam Spire, and you probably can't understand the word of what I'm saying. Um, I do a bit of uh, drawing and painting. Never had a lesson in my life, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know whether that's good or not. I had some instruction from time to time to get to know what you can do as a medium, but I got here a painting for my great-grandson of Australian native animals and I tried um, pastel and was advised not to use that because I had to transport this to, from Australia to America and, but I used eventually um, color pencil with the animals and um, watercolor pencil for this, but I'm not too happy with that. And um, So, this is a, a device that I bought in Australia. It's not a shaver, but it makes the same sound. This turns and it rubs whatever you want to get rid of. Oh. Want, to want me to tell them what it is? It's a Smiggle electric eraser. And tell me, tell them why you liked it. Well, it, this is a, has a small surface, and you can get erase small areas or lines of whatever mucking around you do on a piece of paper or canvas. So that's why I like it. I like these uh, these pastels. Mm. You can spread it out and put other colors on mm. it. I sometimes use cotton buds. They work well. Um, not my fingers, I don't like that because I tend to lick them. So. <laughs> well, that's about it. Um, I like to work with, with um, pastels, and I've done a few um, portraits with pastels. It came out reasonably well, the likeness was not too bad. Um, because you can get so many shades in it if you be careful. I think that's all I can tell you and I don't think you get much out of this. But anyhow, thanks for listening. Hi, I'm Claire Farrell and I brought three things to show you. The first is just uh, something that I got at the hardware store. I don't have a brand name for you, but uh, um, just two little things that I use for gluing when I do a lot of I have a lot of surfaces to glue and they're quite large, but this is just a great way to put the glue in here and to use um, a little roller to do this. It's a um, <laughs> high density foam roller and doesn't really have a brand name on it, but just at the local hardware store. And I just wanted to find something with a, that was pretty thick and had some resistance to it that didn't, it wasn't too soft. So I use that when I do lots of gluing if I have many pages to do. The next thing that I have to show you 
are the Stettler Tri Plus Fine Liner Pastel Colors, 0.3 millimeters. I bought these because... Can, can you hold them up one more time just sure. so I can get... Yeah. I wanted to have something um, to draw with that was um, a very light color, although I have to say that they're not particularly light. This is um, something that I did with the pink. It's more of a cherry red than it is a pink, but it is a bit lighter. Um, you can see that uh, go this way. The lavender is really more of a dark purple. So they're not as light as I expected, but I do like drawing with them. They're a nice fine point and uh, easy to use. The third thing that I'm going to show you are the Pit Artist pens that Jean was showing, but I've been using just the shades of gray plus uh, the extra light warm gray and the light cool gray. I've been using these for about four months, just these specifically, and making pictures and drawings that were just in shades of gray rather than colors. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Mary Claus, and tonight I'm going to show you more of how I do a technique using some uh, very simple artist tools. For my uh, not-so-blank pages, I made these fish designs, and I have used them quite often when we made these little boxes for the zines uh, last year. No, actually it was in 2010. And I used it also to decorate one of my sketchbooks. The technique is used by using a um, artist stamp, and these are actually reproductions of a print that a man by the Fred, name of Fred Mullet makes. So these are genuine fish, not like the one, the stamps that you buy like at Joann's that are more like clip art. So he has a variety of ones to choose from. Uh, what I do is just use water uh, markers, any cheap kind work. I apply them to the fish, let's turn them the right way, uh, and apply it to the fish. You can use a multitude of colors. Then I use one of these mini misters. If you use anything bigger, it gets way too wet. So after I have applied the water markers, I just spray this. Keep it damp. I don't know how much is still on here, there may be some. And then you just lay it down on your paper. Make a print. And it's very similar to the one above because this was the first one versus this is the second one. Then if you want to do any changes, make it watery, blend colors. All you have to do is take your watercolor brush and some water and blend them. You can add background, you can add fine lines. It's just really a fun thing to do. Thank you. Hi, I'm Joanne with Mechie. And I have a confession to make that I haven't used these in my journal, but now that you've provoked me, I think I will have to. So my favorite tools, I don't have, again, specific things. Paper, especially paper with patterns, like I love origami paper papers that you can fold, cut, and put on with other things. Um, airplanes, paper airplanes, one for every day that you can fold and paste on other things. And my camera is probably the most important tool. Right now I have this uh, PowerShot S95, that's a Canon, but I have many other cameras, cameras that I use. But I use this one most often right now because I can use it mostly without a flash and it does a lot of things. So what, and then Photoshop, Photoshop and my camera, the most important tools that I have. So what have I done with those two? Um, here's one, no, not with the paper, but you recognize me and Frida Kahlo, this is a portrait of me of, inside of Frida Kahlo with my two cats, and uh, that was great fun. Is that, okay. Um, then this uh, lovely origami paper, 
One of the things I like doing with Photoshop and the camera is I can take a photo of something real and then I can take a photo of the paper and I can superimpose them by changing the opacity of the layers in Photoshop. I don't know how many of you have used that, but it's just, it's an incredible tool. So here's one where it's the Peace Garden in the winter at Minnehaha, I'm not sorry, at Harriet, the Lake Harriet Peace Garden. And just barely behind, I wanted it to be subtle, you can see in the sky and the ground the, um, the paper pattern, which emulates the shape of the trees. And more vivid, this one is another, uh, several different things put together here. The, um, in the one side of the pair, you see the iconic Spoonbridge cherry from the sculpture garden. On the other side half of the pair, where you see the skin, I've superimposed um, part of an origami paper. And then on one half, yes, this half is again a origami, different origami paper. And the other half is the tablecloth that the bowl was sitting on. So that, I just love doing that, it's really fun. And maybe I'll have to try putting it in my journal. What do you think? There's just, you know, there's tons of these origami papers to buy. I have a fetish about papers, so thank you. Hello, I'm Teresa Harsma, and um, I brought a few tools tonight, but I realized when I got here that one of my favorite things to use I had forgotten to bring, and it's a used tea bag. But fortunately, the shop next door, if you're looking for some of these, this is where you can get this type of tea bag. And I have a whole bag of these tea bags at home, and what I do with them is I stitch on them because they're sort of fabric-like, and I do a little stitching, which becomes a little art piece. And my granddaughter has become fond of this, so when she comes over, she asks me if she can sew a tea bag. So that's one of them. And I like to use mixed media and different things um, in my journals, too. Uh, so, um, Here's an example of a journal when I was on a trip and I picked up some pieces of plastic and sea glass and some little cardboard and red star from the beach that became part of this drawing. And this is stitched onto some brochure that I picked up that I stitched onto the page and you flip it over and it says a little bit about where I found these. So, <clears throat> And then some other media that I like to use. <laughs> I've been using the, just this black pen a lot because I like the black fine line for drawing and it's a micron pen and here's an example of a drawing with just using the micron pen and then this drawing is using can you hold it back oh, up again and hold it is using, I also like to use these because I have them around and I think they're kind of versatile you can uh, use a brush pen with them or just use them you know the way they are they have a nice rich color um, Karan Dash and I have this little tin that I take with me that has uh, little pieces of them in so I don't have to carry this with me and this is a this is a drawing that I've done with this pen and with these and with this water brush And, and here is one more that's using this pen beneath the hand of one. Thank you. My name is Molly Anthony. Um, this is my latest find. I love to look for chargers at antique stores and shops and um, shows. And, I found this for $15 and it's just an old, I think it's a train case or cosmetic bag case that they call it. Um, but I just use it to put all of my supplies in. If I want to do anything creative, I kind of have to do it on the go these days. I don't really have time to just sit and focus. So it's nice that I can just kind of throw everything in here and it's got a plastic liner so it doesn't matter if anything spills or gets messy. Um, and it was cheap so, and it's very durable which is good when I've got a two-year-old in the house who likes to play with everything. Um, the other thing that I found recently are these tool pens, um, and they're available at Office Max. 
And they're not great for anything wet. Um, I think they're gonna bleed a little bit. But if you've got a dry surface, there. this one is, um, it's a gel pen, but it's just the needle point, real fine tip. And then this is more of a marker pen. Um, but they're not scratchy, they're really smooth. I hate pens that skip, um, and neither one of these do that. So these have been kind of my latest addiction. And then I've been trying to kind of break out of just a regular journal and challenge myself a little. And so I've been using binders, and I found this was at Target, I think for like $5. And then I just took a Strathmore mixed media book and cut it all up and punched holes in it. And then just kind of put a whole bunch of random things in there, just as I have time kind of just piecing it all together. And just trying to keep little mementos of stuff. And just even <laughs> Hi, my name is Brianna Getson, and I have three favorites to share with you tonight. My first favorite is tape. Um, this is just a transparent tape that I found at Target, and I love circles and bright colors, so this was perfect for me. And here is a little demonstration of how I use tape to create a shirt in a journal. Um, my second favorite are the Tombow dual brush pen markers. There's a brush tip on one end and then a fine line on the other end. And then my third favorite these days are stencils. This is from a little um, stationary set called Stencil 101. And the creator is Ed Roth. He has many books with um, different size stencils. Some of them are larger than this. Hi, I'm Patty Scott. I've got a few of my favorites that are not too different from everyone else, but um, I don't think anyone has mentioned uh, something as simple as the Prismacolor, the plain Prismacolor pencils, uh, color pencils that are wax and, and not a watercolor. Uh, I find they're, they're really smooth. They're, I've tried other pencils and I really like these. Plus it's nice to have something that isn't a watercolor pencil because I do uh, like to use those as well. <coughs> I think it's a favorite Fiber Castell. Uh, it's a beautiful pencil, and it's a watercolor pencil. And uh, the Caran d'Ache makes a uh, watercolor pencil, too, that I use. And speaking of which, um, one of my favorites for a number of years, and I think someone else has mentioned, is the Caran d'Ache uh, Neo Color Crayons. And I just love them because I can quickly lay down some uh, dry crayon color, or then I can turn them into more of a watercolor. Uh, as I did here in this book with the red by using one of these brush pans that I know a number of other people like too. And I have this one small one, although I have another couple of them that are bigger. Um, this one is starting to fail, unfortunately. But uh, I still sort of attempt to use it because it's, it's such a nice size. Let's see, what did I forget? Oh yes, and my other... Uh, is a favorite, kind. and you can see how much I've used this as my, one of my current favorites, because it's so, now it's getting so short. It's the Faber-Castell, um, let's see, what is it again? It's the graphite uh, uh, aquarel, so it's a watercolor graphite. And I really love this one, it really is rich uh, and goes on smoothly, and then once it's wet, it, uh, it doesn't have a sheen like some graphite does it will be flat to be a, you can get a fat, flat black rather than a shiny uh, graphite color with it. So I find it really great and it's become one of my new favorites. Okay. Hi, I'm Gwen Parton and um, Patty just mentioned Prismacolor color pencils. That's one of my favorites. So I won't talk about those so much. But um, my probably go-to is a black pigment pen. And um, I like these ones by Helix that I get at the office supply aisle, the drafting aisle at the Office Max, Office Depot, maybe. I don't know why I get those mixed up. Um, 
I don't know why I like them. They're inexpensive, and um, they work just as well as the more expensive Sakura Micron and the Stepper, and so I like them. Um, what I don't like about them is that the cap does not stick on the end. Very Sometimes they fall off, so that's sort of annoying. Uh, I really like those. I like to use the black pen on top of color pencil or marker, and the marker um, markers I like are the pit, um, Faber-Castell pit brush markers or the Zig brushables. And they're dual tip zigs are because they have two colors. And that's kind of nice because you get two colors in one pen. You can carry less stuff with you. Um, so, and let's see. I, I know I'm going over the limit, but this is another one of um, my favorite journaling things is to use a watercolor palette. And this is a, a box made by Schminke, and I also like their watercolors, so that's what's in here and the um, Niji water brush pen for traveling. I also have in here a little um, folding brush pen that you take apart and put back together like this, <clears throat> but you need to have a little cup of water for that one, so it's not as convenient to me. Um, but it fits right in the palette. So that's what's nice about that. That's made by Da Vinci. So here's some things. <clears throat> here's a, a black line drawing of um, Becca the dog who was here last week. And that's with the Helix pen. Here's a colored pencil with um, probably a, um, a, one of the black markers and also uh, an orange marker. And here's colored pencil with, actually, this one uses Tombow markers and colored pencil and the black pen. And my markers just fell off, but there's another one. With Tombow markers and colored pencil only on that one. 